Hey everybody, the Johnny Cage here, welcoming you back to some more of Let's Play Castlevania 3. Last time we left off, we took care of Frankenstein, and here we are getting closer and closer to Dracula. Well, I say that at the beginning of every episode, but uh, we actually are. This is the last episode before we go into Dracula's castle. So let's see what we can do here. We still have Saifa with our crazy ice spell, which is really powerful. And to be honest with you, this is a pretty short stage, but pretty difficult. And this is probably the most difficult part of the entire stage. You got these fishmen that will come up, shoot fireballs at you, but worse yet, you got the damn birds. Although I do like how you can freeze the water. Um, I was getting all sorts of weird glitches when I was freezing the water before. I would, uh, like, sometimes the water would stop from freezing over, and then uh, I would still be able to walk on it. It was, it's weird. I don't know. It's an NES game. It's probably bitten off of more than it can handle as far as the programming of it's concerned. But anyhow, so here's the next area. It's not too tough. I guess there's a little bit of a water theme. Yes, kind of. Well, there is, because the boss is also, like, water-oriented. But anyhow, so, yeah, more with Saifa and her awesome spell of destruction, that being the ice spell. Take care of this hunchback, draw him on screen, and boom! And uh, here's a good opportunity to see the speed of it, or the range of it, rather. It can probably hit a, an enemy standing still from about five blocks away, which is pretty nice. So, it's something to keep in mind, I suppose, when using it at a distance. Then you got these damn stairs again. Oh god, how I hate the stairs so much. Just with a passion. I don't know how I hit that bat over there. Anyhow, uh, to get this guy, talk about stairs being a pain in the ass. You have to stand directly in the middle of these two staircases and then use the ice spell. If that's the route you're going to go with fighting him, because otherwise you're going to go up one set of stairs or the other. Really, really a pain in the ass. But anyhow, moving right along. So I hope everyone's enjoying their Halloweens. It's been awesome to see all these great uh, Halloween-themed Let's Plays starting up. Uh, Turnus Bro Radish is starting to play Super Ghouls and Ghosts for the Super Nintendo, and I'm like, wow, seriously? Like, Castlevania 3 is hard, but man, that game is just torture. Seriously, so good luck to him on that one, because you, uh, you can be sure you'll never see me play that. It's, you know, I don't, I've actually already put some thought into what I'm planning on playing for next year. I don't know, I, I haven't really thought it through yet too much, but it would be cool to do something like, like Sweet Home for the Nintendo, which is a game that only came out in Japan, but it's like, it's this really well done survival horror game for uh, the Nintendo. I, it's really cool. You can get a reproduction card of it for about 50 bucks, same place you get like reproduction cards of uh, Nintendo World Championships and whatnot, but a really cool looking card, so I might have to get that. Maybe at MakeFest. Maybe I'll add that to my list. Although, I've already got so much that I want to get when I go there, but... Anyhow, so here we are coming up on the boss. This is the last room, so just get yourself prepared however you need to. I think there's a fire spell down here, so watch out for that. Um, but we're actually going to use Simon, because believe it or not, despite the fact that the ice spell is pretty game-breaking in a sense, you can't injure this double dragon boss with uh, with the ice spell. So, uh, But having the double shot axe works really well. does a good deal of damage. Um, I generally just stay on this middle platform, either on the far left or far right, and that should keep you, you know, a decent ways away from the fire. Once you take out one of the two of dragons, things get a lot easier for you. But, no, oh, damn, couldn't get to them with that last one there. Nope, there you are. Ha-ha! Boom! An axe will do it. Kill a dragon, that is. So we have taken down that level, and with that, we head on into Dracula's castle. Uh, it would be cool to watch the original Dracula. I've actually never seen that movie before. I don't really know anyone that has. The, like, Bela Lugosi, 1931. Dracula, but so this map might look familiar. The original Castlevania map, and we'll get to the original Castlevania level soon enough. But uh, this is actually from a recording that I did the day after, so there might be a little bit of, uh, of you know, something there that you might notice of me editing these two videos together. But if it was just one uh, video, it would have been super short, and I didn't want to do that again. So decided to pass up the holy water there just because the double axe is really more worthwhile. Um, for now, but the holy water will become especially useful. I mean, it's it's the best weapon in pretty much every uh, Castlevania game, regardless. But you can do a lot of platforming in this level, actually. Back to them platformings. Um, but you know, it's Nintendo. What would it be without some classic platforming? But uh, speaking of uh, horror movies and whatnot, I've been trying to watch as many as I can this Halloween season. It sucks that a lot of uh, a lot of um, channels that I've gone to, most of them don't start showing horror movies and stuff of that sort until like halfway through the month, so it's taken me a while to find some stuff, but I've, I've got a DVR for the first time this year, so I've been recording stuff as I go. Uh, I haven't seen anything super awesome yet. I did watch uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 the other day, and I was like, wow, this is pretty rough. Um, 
Uh, speaking of rough, you got this damn bird just dropping off lunchbacks. Jeez, that's a situation, I'll tell you what. But, uh, yeah, I can tell that's probably the last of the original movies where it's any good. You can just get this feeling that afterwards, it, it's gonna get kind of crappy. I bet part four is just almost unwatchable for me at this point. But it did have Lawrence Fishburne in it, in one of his, like, first major roles, probably. Although he's not, like, a super main character, but he's not just, like, a... Yeah, well, he's a, he's a good side character, let's put it that way. But, uh... I've got the whole, um, every one through eight of the original, uh, Friday the 13th ready to record when they start showing those, which I think is, uh, two days from now, I believe? Two days from when I'm recording this commentary, but that would be cool. I'm definitely gonna watch all of those. I don't know if I've seen them all or not, but, uh, they'll be fun to watch. I think those may have aged a little bit better than, uh, the Freddy movies, because those just got so campy after a while. Anyhow, here we got 11 hearts up this way and a pork chop at the end. Man, they really set you up for victory in this level. And now, onto the dreaded Teeter Totters! Dun dun dun! Got introduced to these in uh, the ancient Ship of Doom level. And uh, now we get to play with them again. They're not. It's This part's really easy, except for this last jump coming up right here. You need to be like halfway off of that block to make that. And uh, it, it looks crazy. I always feel like I'm gonna fall on it, but I've never actually died on that one before, which is, I don't know, maybe it's just my platforming skills. Yay! Hooray for modesty, right? Oh, uh, these stupid red skeletons with their whips, you really have to use the full range of this ice belt to your advantage here. And then you got the crows. I, you know, I would highly suggest just taking this part really easy, one step at a time, killing every enemy you run into, because if these guys group up on you, you're as good as dead. Very much so. But uh, then we get this little cool area coming up right here once you go down these stairs, this downward scrolling area, and there's an item here that I did not know even existed in this game. I'd never seen it before, I'd never gone, and it's that right there, this ice ball of death, and you'll see what this thing does. I, d I can't believe I didn't know about this, seriously, like, I, I wonder if some people that play this game heavily even know about that, because I've never seen it in any Let's Plays I've watched in all the times that I've played through this game. I must have just never had Sypha out, or just completely missed that candle. But, uh, yeah, it's really insanely powerful. Uh, there's also some hearts here if you want to use them, because this is a move that you're going to be wanting to use a lot. Because here we got three bosses coming at you. Two of them we've already fought before, though. First off, the dual mummies, and that's how the ice ball works. It homes in on the enemies. Um, my god, this thing just destroys. Uh, it does have to hit them in their weak point still. Luckily for mummies, their weak point is everywhere. Uh, what I really mean by that is the second guy that we're going to face right here is our old friend, the Hammer Man. And uh, unless one of the blue orbs hits him in the head directly, it's not going to do any damage. So I kind of wait until he's at like a 45 degree angle relative to uh, my lowest of the three balls. And boom, take him out. And here we go. Here's the new guy, which is... Well, it's still really easy. The mummies are the hardest of the three by far. But uh, I'll give you a little glimpse of this demon. No, oh, you can hit him all over. He doesn't have a particular weak point. Um, if you're going this route, if you're being Simon, just like hide underneath one of these uh, one of these platforms here, because um, he kind of does a little bit of damage when he shakes the ground. So I don't think you can be right next to him. And every like third turn or so, he'll fire the three fireballs, just as I'm firing these three ice balls. So keep that in mind, but otherwise, boom, there you go. And thank goodness he went down right there. I was in trouble. I had full health, but I was totally cornered. So, anyhow, boom, grab the orb. Hey, there's two levels in one video, folks. How about that? Man, I wasn't even planning on doing that, but I can't just put up, like, three-minute-long videos. That's, an, that's embarrassing. You guys deserve better than that, but... So there we go, we beat the first level in Dracula's actual castle, and guess what the next one is? That's right, the first level from Castlevania 1! Oh, as I pause it out of sheer terror, but uh, I guess I should probably try to get these guys off the screen. Anyhow guys, thanks a lot for joining me, this has been the Johnny Cage. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you have not, and I'll talk to all of you awesome people tomorrow.